This is the plaintiff, Douglas Kinghorn. He says he entered the front door to a store, and the defendant's dog leaped at him and bit his testicle. The guy then kicked him out of the store. The EMTs came, and he was taken to see a doctor, a woman doctor, no less. He had to have five different people look at his private parts. He was in pain for several months and is suing for $7,999, the amount he's owed for medical bills and pain and suffering. This is the defendant, Camilo Macedo. He says the plaintiff got into a loud altercation with a woman in front of his store, and then the guy came into his bakery grooming salon. His dog greeted him in a friendly way. The man immediately started yelling he had been bitten, which wasn't true, and he told him to step outside. The plaintiff started kicking his glass door. He called the cops, and, well, here they are. He's accused of failing to control a snippety dog. All parties, please get your right hands. People's Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Leon top presiding. Litigants have been sworn. Thank you, Douglas. Mr. Kinghorn, you are suing Mr. Macedo for $7,999. An estate where the statutory max is $8,000. In medical bills and pain and suffering, because according to you, his dog attacked you and bit you in the testicles. Tell me exactly what happened. Okay, uh, I guess you could say you could blame it on the iguana. Uh, I've been having trouble with uh, iguana. I live in a home in Florida. We have a, a pool with a, a screen around it, and iguana keeps, you know, using our our pool for a restroom. So how do uh, they get in? They're terrible. They're all over the place. Yeah, they, they actually climbed on top. They're an invasive species. They kill all the vegetation. It's true. They're, they're not really dangerous to your pets or anything, but they're just disgusting. It, it took a long time before I figured out what it was doing, actually, because it was so unusual. But anyway, so on uh, the back of my mind, it's been going on for a while, but in the back of my mind, I've been meaning to, to speak to somebody about a repellent or even, I don't know about a poison, but some kind of repellent. So um, it was been in the back of my mind to, to, to speak to somebody. We already had somebody bring traps that didn't work. No. So... Uh, what happened was on that day I was picking up my medication. There's a pharmacy next door to his uh, his pet store. Uh, I drove in, and when I drove in, uh, I went to uh, to go to park near the um, pharmacy. And what happened was the guy was backing out, and uh, the, he was driving a big SUV, and I couldn't really see around him. And uh, so I took his parking spot, and thought nothing of it. I was just going to go in and out and uh, get my medication. And some woman came storming over, really mad and uh, start yelling at me about this and that. It was a really bad thing I did. Whatever. Wait, stop. I have no idea what you're saying. A, a woman started yelling at you. Why? Because she, cause I, she said I took her parking space. But I, oh, because she it. had been waiting for that space. Yeah, but I didn't see anybody. I would never have done that. I just didn't see anybody. And okay, did you tell her that? SUV, did you offer to I, I give her the also, space back? And actually, if I would not... Did you take, offer to give her the space? I did, actually. <laughs> you did? Yeah, I did, you know. I did. Or I, did I, the two of you just stand out there arguing? Uh, both. We kept arguing. Well, no, you, there's nothing to argue about if you get back in your car and give I her the space. Her, I actually says, what do you want me to do, move the car now? I'm just going to run in and get my medication. Well, then, yeah, then that doesn't mean you offered the space. Anyway, go on. Okay. I did. Well, uh, how is that? Then get in the car and move your car, and then there wouldn't be any arguing. But the arguing got so bad that apparently someone from your store had to come out and tell them to move it along because they were disturbing the people, yeah. right? Yes. Well, did you actually hear the argument? No. Okay. So one of your employees does what? She went to the door. She told them to just take the fight. Somewhere else? Someone else. Just not in front of your store? Yes. Okay, so go on. What happens? Okay, you know, I, it's funny because until I watched the video, I don't remember that happening, but I wait, went you don't Wait, stop. You don't remember someone t telling you to stop arguing in front of their store? Well, if you watch the video, she just kind of like peeked her head out, and I didn't know she wasn't talking to me. I thought she was talking to the woman or talking to somebody. I didn't really see her because I was like, I had a woman get screaming at me in my face. I was a little bit worried about the woman actually in front of me, not the woman. I know, that's why I would side. solve the problem so easily by saying, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you. I'd get in my car and I'd find another parking space. That's what I would do, but go ahead. I, I know, but it wasn't that simple at that point. <laughs> it, it is very simple, but go ahead. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so... Uh, okay, and the reason I'm saying this is because I've seen your video, and I saw how you went whoop, into the parking space, didn't you? You're no, going, huh, no. you're humming. Let's see it. No, you're all right. Slow, I very slowly drove into the parking lot. No, you no. didn't. Let's see it. No, you're on. Sorry, your well, let's, No, let's see it. Your memory f deceives you. Hold on. Yeah, I'm driving pretty slow, actually. Can you stop talking? Yes.
Is that the car that I see reflected? That's you getting out of your car, and isn't yes, it, Your Honor, that's it is. the car that I see reflected? You got angry? All right. Um, either way, we're not here about you taking the parking space, but I just need to set the tone for the stuff that happens later because it's nuts. All right. So now, uh, his empo his employee comes out. According to you, you didn't even know his employee came out. I knew someone until you saw it on the video. Side, but I didn't know it was about directed to us or anyway. You have to understand while that was going on off camera, I have a woman yelling at me in my face. That's right. what I was worried about. So she's yelling at you, what's she saying? She never stopped. Blah, 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 I had some nerve, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay. I was like, come on, I've been married almost, almost over 25 years. Are you kidding me? I, I don't want to do anything to a woman like that, you know, yeah, disrespect you know somebody. All right, so never then you go like into somebody. the pharmacy and what happened? <laughs> so I went to the pharmacy, got my medication. She was there, you know, perusing stuff and she had let it go by that point. And then, uh, and then that, that was the last time I saw her. And then I went with my, my bag of uh, 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 rizotriptan. Yeah, right. migraine, migraine medication. And as I walked over, and I was like, oh, there's a pet store. What do you store. take for migraines? Uh, Rhizotriptan. It's a, it's a triptan family of uh, serotonin agonists. It's, it's, it's not a narcotic. Okay, go on. Yeah, so it's the only thing that really helps migraines. So anyway, so with my little bag of medication in hand, I was like, oh, the, the, I went back to the, go to the pet store. And I didn't even, if you see the video too, you can't even see. I didn't know he was standing there with the dog when I opened the door. I thought I was just going to walk into a pet store like you would walk in. Okay. And I walk in and suddenly his dog's right there and just reaches out, you know, jumps out and, and, and bites me. I never been, Where did bit, the dog bite you? He bit me right at the entrance, like right at the threshold. I didn't actually I meant on your store. body. Uh, it, he bit me in the left testicle. And uh, did he puncture you? No. But I didn't know that at the time. Okay, so what do you say to him when that happens? Um, he bit me, and what happened was I was kind of stunned, and I stepped into the store because I still had my mind getting a. It was not just for the iguana bait; it was to get a um, a, a leash for my uh, brother-in-law. And uh, I told him I was like, I was just like in a daze. I was like, Hey, your dog just bit me, and, you know, and he just didn't even care. I mean, he did, he ignored it, and I was like, I need help. You know, it hurts. You know, I need you know. You know, you got to say something. He wouldn't say anything, and finally, he just started threatening me and telling me to leave. And then he actually said he would physically remove me. And then I told him, "Oh, I, got, I would like to see that. I'm not going anywhere." And then uh, his employees, meanwhile, he's got you know, I, I can't count the exact number, but at least four or six young women there working, and other people there. You know, there's, there's several people there. Customers too. At that, there might have been one customer in the store. I can't remember, but it, customers... what, did, what what were they all doing? Uh, standing around waiting for their, their talking with them, their dogs are getting. No, green. what did they say to you? Oh, oh, they're they're yeah, like they're like backing him up, showing their phone. They called nine one one. I'm like, well, good, call nine one one. How did it get to nine one one? If you're just calmly saying to him, you know, your dog bit. Ma'am, I, I, you know, he has video of his store. I hope he brought that. I'm gonna see it. But oh, what okay. I'm asking you to tell uh, me first, and then I'm okay. gonna ask him oh, to that, tell that, me that first. That really helps my case, Ron. I'm glad you're yeah. telling me. That. I'm glad he brought that because mm -hmm. you'll see him a step towards me. I never. What him. I want you to tell me is yes, what happened. At first, I was just asking for help, but then once he started bringing up that he was going to physically harm me, he actually at one point. Well, how did he say he was going to physically harm you? He, he you know, he said he, he threatened. He said he'd like me to, he'd like to go somewhere and be and settle this. And he actually called me. A, I was uh, like, how did he call you his? What 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 phrase? He did said he? the word. He said I was his like his. I was like, really? I'm sorry. I'm trying to understand. I want to understand. Uh, uh, you have to paint the scene for me because I wasn't there. Yeah, no, I'm I'm trying. I'm just like he said, I'm a or whatever. And I was like. Really? I was like, think you can you think you can beat me up, you? And I and I said, I'm not going anywhere. But I never got close to him or raised my hands or nothing. I was still kind of stunned. I was just I expected to get help, not be attacked for his dog biting me. I mean, you have to understand, I didn't go storming into a store waving a weapon or blah, blah, blah. I, I gently walked into a store. You think the dog me. remembered you from the argument with the other lady and thought maybe that sense maybe that you were aggressive or no? I have I have no idea I can't okay. but the th but the point is, is that that's really right you don't expect really I understand yeah. what you're saying you don't expect him to be rude to you you expect him to say oh my gosh here's a my chair here's some it. water let's call 911 so, whatever it is so, all right so he doesn't so what happens so he what they happened was they called the police right so meanwhile he said something about you know he'd like to to sell this you know somewhere out like outside it was like oh you want to fight me now all right so we go outside so you went outside to fight I went outside to whatever he said. I don't know. He just said, let's, he said, let's step outside. Okay. So he invites you to go outside. You go outside. And what does he do? He locks the door. Okay. And they call the police. Then the police come, right? Well, what happened was he locked the door. So I was like, oh man. So I, I kicked the door a few times. You kicked and the door. How are you doing that with a, with a, with a ripped testicle? I, you know what? It's kind of funny. I felt something, but it didn't hurt until like a day or two. It really started hurting a day later. That day it still hurt. I felt. What funny, happened? The police get there and what happens? So the police get there, and the first thing they do now remember, 
they have called the police, not me. So they assume I'm, I'm up to no good, I'm the troublemaker. And somebody had said, hey, there's a guy out here kicking the business. I just kicked it like three times, I didn't damage it. But then, and then uh, he patted me down. He thought he actually thought he actually was going. Well, no, that's what he should do. That's protocol. But go on. Yeah, he was looking like to actually. But he, remember, they had gotten their word in first. Right, I know. So that's why it's was, protocol. I, I said, sir, before you get we, we get carried away, just do me a favor. I want you to watch my dash cam. I want you to watch the video of this. He's, and he was like, "You have video of this?" I'm like, "Yes, I, oh, I have two videos actually." He's like, "Why do you have a dash cam?" I think that's great, but I'm I'm just wondering why you have a dash cam because most people don't. Well, you visit Boca Raton in Florida. Very very bad driving in Florida. Yeah. We, have, we get everything. We have very old people, very young people. Yeah, okay. I, 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 yeah, I know. I live there. Okay, okay so go on. Okay. So anyway, so yeah, so I've, yeah, so I have videos to protect ourselves. As a, there's an accident, like, and that's happened. That's actually happened to me. I've actually had to use my dash cam in court before. Okay. For insurance. So anyway, so uh, it just was just. And the funny thing is, it was just dumb luck because I always back in. Always. That day I didn't because I just pulled in. Had I backed in, I wouldn't have had video of it. Had you so, backed in, the other lady might have gotten the spot. But anyway, just tell yeah. me what the police do say, after they see your I dash didn't cam. See a lady on. Uh, he says, "I'm so I'm." He he does a 180. He says, "Oh my goodness!" He's like, "That's this is not what I heard." Oh, just bear with me one minute. He he's apologetic because he they have told him a different story. Okay. Their story is I went there and tearing the place up. Okay. Like, what was no, the story no. you told the police when you called 911? That he came to the store. Uh, my dog jumped on him, and he came aggravating, talking with me inside the store, and I told him to leave, to leave, to leave, to leave. He won't leave. I said, let's go out. That's when I locked the door. So what were you calling? The, well, I presume you told the police he was kicking your door oh, down, yeah, too. Oh, yeah, yes, of course. Yeah, all right. I, I told the police that he was kicking the door. Uh, okay, the all right. Door. So now, um, do the police call fire rescue? Um, yeah, they did, yeah. And did fire rescue um, inspect your privates? It, they did in his store, his restroom. In the restroom, all right. Yeah. And did fire rescue find any evidence of contact? No, no, not what could, they could have expected, no. Well, because you had said the dog bit my testicles. Right, right. And it really hurts, they expected to see a bite wound. Did they find any evidence of a bite wound? At that point, no. All right. You then later go to a urologist. Is it the same day? The, the, the same day, of, a few hours later, I went and saw a, a family medicine doctor. So a nurse and her examined me thoroughly. Did she find any evidence of contact? Um, I mean... Was, or bite, anything. Well, the evidence was I was very tender to palpation. Right. That's something you tell her, right? Like, in other words, she doesn't know if you're tender. You're the one who says, ouch, right? That's what tender means. Yes. Okay. So now, do you end up with any follow-up care for this bite to your testicles? Yes, what happened was, because she did find that I was injured, she still thought something was wrong, she referred me to a urologist. Okay. She's an you know, expert in that area. So less than a week later, I saw a local urologist, uh, and uh, he, found, he found evidence that I was... What evidence did he find? Well, what happened was, um, later that day, my wife had looked at me, and I just, not only was, now she knows me, that area better than anybody else besides me, so... Well, she said I looked a little swollen and red, but there was no like no no teeth marks in it, thank goodness. But remember, I was wearing shorts and and, and, a, and underwear, so and it's a small dog too. It wasn't like this is a, a Doberman or a Great Dane. How great much does your dog weigh? Twenty five pounds. Zero. And what kind of dog do you have? It's Italian water dog. Italian water dog. water dog. Go ahead. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, the urologist uh, examining me said that. Uh, that there was something there, but he said he wasn't sure if that he was. He has caused. been complaining of exquisite tenderness in the left hemoscrotum. On physical examination to the scrotum, it shows no puncture wounds. There is some ductal ex ectasia present. I do not feel any of these issues are caused by the dog bite, but they can be aggravated and irritated by the dog bite, assuming there's a dog bite, because that's what I've got to figure out. What I've got to figure out is, are you a very angry man, angry that they're throwing you out and you're making a bigger deal of it in order to collect, or did the dog bite your testicle? That's what I need to find out, right? Because that's what determines whether you're entitled to eight grand in damages, right? Okay. What happens? You don't hear any of the argument he's having with the other lady in front of your store that caught, or near your store that causes your employee to go out, right? No. All right. So what's the first thing that you notice with the, the plaintiff? Uh, so I came outside. Uh, I look around. I didn't see anything. Uh, then they said they, he's in a pharmacy next door. So I just wait by the door to make sure that Nothing happened, I don't know. My dog was loose inside for one second, let's step over. Okay, is your dog always loose in the pet store? Yes, I have videos 
of my dog with customers. Yes, I know. I saw 400 videos of your dog being cute, but here's my question. <laughs> there is no question your dog jumped on him. Yes. Right. Yes. And so that I, I know that that's bad behavior on the part of a dog. They're not supposed to do that. He wasn't supposed to be there. He came the, out. He who? Uh, my dog. He right. Had, he had a, we had a baby fence. Okay. To, not for my dog, for all the dogs not to go to run loose in the store. Okay. My dog passed that. How uh, did your dog pass it? I left it open. I remember because oh, okay. I was All right, right. That's, that's where the, neg the negligence comes in that you could be potentially liable for damages on. That's what I'm trying to explain to you for the future, but go on. Yes, and then my dog went up to the door when he made an attempt to go to his car and just heard my dog barking and came inside the store. I told him not to open the door. He opened the door anyway. And How fast did all this happen? Fast. Okay. Uh, and you go like this, but he's already opening the door. Everything is very fast. And what fast. happens? Your dog jumps on him. He jumps on him. Did your dog bite him in the testicle? No. Did your dog bite him at all? No, not at all. All right. When he walks in, what is it you say to him? I did you know that was the guy who I've been fighting before? Yes. How did you know? Because you, what, you didn't see it. Everyone said, that's the guy. Because the car is parked right in front of my store. Right. So he opened the door. My dog jumps on him. And I grab my dog. He, How quickly did you grab the dog? Like right away. Okay. Like you can see me with my hands in my dog. Okay, right go on. When he's in the top of him. Okay. Uh, so he comes inside the store uh, telling me that the dog beat me, the dog beat me, the dog beat me. And I keep saying, no, he didn't. I saw the whole thing. He didn't. He didn't. He keep coming after me. I secured my dog. What does coming after me mean? Like following me inside the store. And I keep telling him, no, he didn't get out the store. Let's take this outside. Let's take this outside. Yeah. Did he think you were going to fight him? I guess so. Were you going to fight him? No, of course not. That's why. You're just going to lock I, him I, out? I, yeah. Okay, smart. All right, so why, go on. That's what was my plan. Okay, the so he walks out, and then you lock him out, and what happens? He came out. He, I think he was waiting, me to, waiting for me to come outside. Of course, I didn't. He did he to, try to open the door? Yeah, he did. Then he, he realizes it's locked. It's locked, and then he kicked twice. He, the, it's a glass door, by the way. That's when I called the cops. Okay. I called the cops. The cops came. Three officers watched the video, come back to him, say, listen, you did not get beat. He keep it arguing and say, okay, if you got beat, let's call the paramedics. I called the fire rescue. So they called the fire rescue. They came. They asked to use the bathroom to check his private, what, what, what's going on. He came back. He said, listen, nothing happened. He, he keep you arguing inside the store, you know, like... Did the police ask you for, whether you wanted him arrested for criminal mischief for kicking the door? No, I don't recall. Okay. I don't recall. You have a bunch of video that shows you from the back. He brought the store video that shows it from the front. Let's take a look at that. The dog comes to the door. The dog starts barking. You turn around, oh, hear the dog barking, the and door. open the door. He tells you to stop very quick. It all happens very quickly. You're already opening the door. But the dog is at the door, and you see the dog at the door. No. That's what makes, so watch the video. The dog is at the door. You're going to your car, you turn around, you hear the dog barking, and that causes you to turn around. He says, wait, and he's pulling the dog. The dog jumps, and the dog jumps on you for sure, but you've got your prescription pack right in front of your testicles. I don't even know that the dog made contact with you. I keep saying the dog jumped on you. He grabs the dog, and you have immediately done what every man in your position would do, which is block your testicles with the bag. How did that dog have contact with your testicles? You're making it up? Play, play my video. And, All right, and let's you... play your video. I do want to play your video. Your Honor, um... No, stop. We're going to play your video right now. Do you see how you hear something, turn around, and then decide to walk in, and there's a dog barking right there? Your Honor... Yes or no, do you see that? When you walk up, when I walked up, I didn't know there was anybody standing there. And the dog wasn't barking then. The dog didn't bark till he bit me, till he lurched, jumped out of the store. And, and you know, Your Honor, there's no evidence the dog bit you. Every no. professional who looks at you says there's zero evidence of what he's Your saying. Your Honor, that dog was, you said- But you do about, understand that, right? Let's look at the police report. I never get to say In the police dog. report, the police say there get... is absolutely no evidence to support what it is he's saying happened. There are no puncture wounds. There's no redness, there's no anything. The, and that's what the firefighters say as well. You know that, because you've read the reports, right? Yes, I've read that, but they, the dog went under. You're saying I blocked the dog. He went under, the, he went under my No, package. I'm saying you blocked your privates. I know. I, I'm the, not with, saying you blocked the dog. With the, with the, you said I tried to block with the bag. He was under the bag. 
He's a small dog. He well, he got me underneath. He came he came almost directly want, underneath me. I need to I need you to prove he bit your testicles, which is your story, and that's what gets you eight thousand dollars. I need you to prove it. The cops say there's no evidence. The firefighters say there's no evidence. Your family doctor says there's no evidence. The only evidence there is of anybody saying there's anything wrong is your urologist saying you have a cyst that has nothing to do with this, but he keeps saying it's tender. It's only you. You're angry as hell. You, you, you know, if, I, if someone bit Douglas's privates, Douglas would turn around, go in the car, call the cops right away. Instead, you're arguing with him for minutes. You want to fight him. You're kicking the door. You don't present as someone who actually got bit. You present as someone who's angry and is making it up to get money, $8,000. Did you try to get a lawyer to take your case? I did. Nobody would take it, would they? I did. Yeah. I want to tell you something. I know you think your dog is adorable, and your dog is adorable, but if you cannot control your dog from jumping at patrons in a place that is open to the public, shame on you. And another thing, in the hundreds of videos you wanted me to see about how great and cute your dog is, one of the things you showed me is the dog holding his own leash. In fact, you gave me two videos of that, walking up and down the shopping center holding his own leash. I know you think that's cute. You know what I see? I see a dog that's not on a leash, which is a violation of the leash law in your town. You understand? Yes, I know you think your dog is just irresistible to everybody, but I had a child who was deathly afraid of dogs. So people like you just let the dog roam you know, that was a problem for me when my child was little. And she would crawl right up into my head because she was so terrified. And it'd be very hard to calm her. We have leash laws for a reason. It's kind of different when you're in a pet store. So long as you have a warning outside saying loose animals or something, and your dog is, is controllable. If you have to run and grab your dog from jumping, your dog is not controllable. Your dog is used to doing whatever your dog wants to do, which mercifully is super cute, right? And, and sweet, and she's only 27 pounds, she's not a vicious dog. I get all that. I also know that dog didn't bite that man. I know that. I've seen the video a hundred times. I know the dog didn't bite that man and he's making up the lawsuit. And he's not gonna win. He's not gonna get away with that. But you leave a little to be desired as a pet owner. You need to control the dog. So don't leave the little gate open anymore. Make sure you have the dog in the gate. And if your dog is gonna be prancing around the shopping mall, you are supposed to control the dog. The dog is not supposed to control itself. You got me? Yes, Your Honor. Verdict for the defendant. But Your Honor, I never got to say, oh my God. So both parties caught the wrath of the judge in this case, but the plaintiff did not prevail. He didn't get $7,999. Mr. Kinghorn, tell me what your reaction is. I was, uh, I was disappointed. There are certain laws in Florida, uh, Statute 767, that states that whether the dog bites you or just makes contact with you. The dog doesn't have to bite you. Whether I was wrong about that or not, I think I still think the dog bit me, but even if it didn't, she didn't want to award pain and yeah, suffering. Yeah, but you could else. not prove that the dog actually bit you. It like even I, touched you. It didn't look like he had, he had touched you at all. It didn't so look like he touched me at all. that's what the judge decided. But the statute says he's liable regardless. She didn't let me, she didn't let me show that. She's not a Florida judge. She's not Mr. A, Kinghorn, something you have to understand. The judge lives in Florida. She's been a prosecutor and a judge in Florida. She knows the statutes very well in the state of Florida. The bottom line is you couldn't even prove the dog touched you. So that video doesn't show a case. dog touching me. Really? <laughs> okay. No, sorry about that. Okay. All right. Not only did the plaintiff catch the wrath of the judge, so did the defendant, Mr. Macedo. So let's see how he reached You know, Mr. Macedo, bottom line here, had your dog not been loose in the store, you wouldn't be here right now. You know that. Yes, I know that. Have you learned something from this whole case? Yes, I did. What the judge just told me, uh, I know it's a violation, like when I leave my dog out of leash, if not secured. Um, but I know my dog didn't beat him. That's why I'm, I'm here. I know my dog didn't bite him. Okay. All right. I hope you have learned a valuable lesson. So good yes. luck to you. Okay? Thank you, sir. And congratulations. No, thank you. Thank you. That was a relief. Okay. Thank you. This is a fascinating case, Harvey. What's your perspective on it? Okay, Doug. Well, this is a case where video is king. And, you know, we've seen this before where people take cell phone videos and whatnot. I got to tell you. The world has changed f over the last 10 years. That cell phone video is great for sure. But everywhere you look, there seems to be a surveillance camera these days. And surveillance cameras can be key. They're key in this case. And so if you can get surveillance video to back up your claim in court, it's worth going to a store 
wherever you say an injury or an accident occurred to see if somebody caught it on camera. That camera makes the difference between winning and losing a lot. Marilyn, have you ever had a pet besides a dog or a cat? Yes, I had a turtle when I was little. Yeah? I don't think we ever had a hamster. I don't know. The problem with I, them is they get loose in the house and then you never see them again. Yeah, well, they're, that's they're what happened nice with my things. turtle, now right. that you mentioned it. But. Wait, didn't, it didn't your brother used to torment you with the turtle somehow? My eldest brother, Tony. Right. Uh, Tony used to put the turtle inside of Wonder Bread. Right. And then he, he, he had already bitten into the Wonder Bread. He did this at a party once. Right. He had already bitten into the Wonder Bread, so it looked like there was a bite of a salmon. Then he put the head of the turtle there and he would Poke look at me. Out. And he'd go, oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> I haven't thought about this That's in 15 great. something That's years. Great. And then he would go, I thought he was going to. I was, he was gonna buy, I was like five. I'm screaming at the top of my. Right, he right. thinks it's really funny. It was like right. a party trick for him. He was wow. much older, right. um, but uh, yeah. So I've had a turtle, fish. We've had fish. Yeah. Speaking of fish, you had a fish. And I, I, wrote, I found this in your office, and I think you'll probably remember. Oh my you god. You had a fish, and you have a. Plaque That's why in you your asked office. this. That's why you no, both you particularly selected this viewer question, right. isn't it? Right. And um, this is a particular fish that you had. It and is a particular. City of Miami police detectives. I no, think, it was Judge it. Alex. Oh, Judge, Judge Alex. Alex gave me that because he, gave it to he was uh, going to take my fish tank and then some unfortunate series of events happened. Right, Judge and, Alex Ferrer. Right, right. and uh, Alex ended up... Um, yeah, Rambo is what we used to call that fish because right. it would pop out, hit the floor, and live. Uh, but then eventually it just... Um, yeah. Things bad went, things happen. Bad things happen. So Let's just leave that, that story for another day. Let's just leave that story for another day because the FBI was involved, and oh, that's, that's right. just a story for another day right. uh, if we ever get permission to tell it. But that's... It, the FBI yes, was involved. The FBI in the was disappearance involved. Of we're, your just, fish. we're just going to leave, leave it lie here. Story for another day.